Gauteng Transport MEC Jacob Mamabolo is adamant that e-tolls have no place on Gauteng roads. While delivering his budget vote speech yesterday, MEC Mamabolo said his department remains firm in its call to scrap the tolls. The department has also appointed over 500 military veterans to help with pupil safety. The MEC joins us now to tell us more. A very good morning to you, MEC. Thank you so much for your time. We've heard as Gauteng residents this call from the Premier, at least, that we should not be having e-tolls on our roads, and yet they're still there. People are still being charged, and we're still hearing from the Finance Minister who's saying they're going nowhere. So how can residents of this province believe? Well, firstly, good morning to you, to all the viewers, and let me thank you for the opportunity. Um, as the provincial government of Gauteng, and correctly as you say, led by our Honorable Premier, um, we very clear and we're consistent with a popular call by the people of the province that um, uh, e-tolls are a serious burden on the little income that they get, and therefore... Um, I think they can believe because one thing we've been consistent about is that we never shifted or betrayed the popular call of the people mm -hmm. to, for the scrapping of it all. So to that extent, the residents of Houting, beyond any shade of doubt, and that's the feedback we're very pleased about, is that they can see clearly all of us are united behind the call for the scrapping of e-tolls, mm -hmm. and that is why, um, because we are also a sphere of government. We, we, are, a, we are a provincial government. We, we are the authority in the province, and that's why uh, it is correct uh, for the residents and people of this province to have maximum confidence mm -hmm. and trust in what the provincial government is saying. MEC, let's, let's look into what it is you said in your speech yesterday, your budget. Let's if you can just give us details as to what's in it in terms of what it is you're going to be part, uh, partitioning and, and, and putting money aside for, and specifically with road maintenance. You've been very, um, very expressive in making sure that road maintenance is something that happens and happens quickly because our roads, of course, have been quite terrible here in Gauteng. So what are you spending, or what are you spending and what are you spending on? So our budget um, for this current financial year, it's about $8.6 billion. And uh, the overarching call we are making is that, um, and this is very important, the geopolitical space today we call Haute is a product of the good days of mining, particularly the gold rush. And that is a non-renewable resource is no longer there. And therefore, we believe that if we are to build a sustainable economy, which respects and takes into account the environment, transport offers such an opportunity. And that is why we mentioned building roads to support the clear position of the province to create special economic zones. We have um, 12 uh, private property developers in the province who want to build uh, smart cities. One project that I know of in the city of Tswane, very clear, goes at about 12.5 billion rands alone. Mm -hmm. They are asking us, let's support them with the roads. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we are clearly saying that um, um, roads infrastructure, and this is a world phenomenon, mm -hmm. is going to be the key driver of the economy of this province. Mm -hmm. We've also looked at the expansion of how train. Look at, uh, if you look just from the city of Joburg, um, the main um, uh, transport, intermodal transport facility in, in the city of Joburg to um, a Centurion, you'll agree with me that everywhere the how train rail line is being overlaid, it has attracted massive, massive investment. Mm. And that is why the expansion of how train is quite critical. If you just look at the road maintenance program, in actual fact, in our budget, the bigger part of the infrastructure spend goes to road maintenance. Mm -hmm. And we are doing an excellent job working with municipalities to maintain and fix roads. The issue of military veterans, uh, we have about 531 military veterans once at a go mm -hmm. that are helping us 
monitor compliance with COVID-19 um, uh, protocols in the schools. And uh, we believe also that's a very critical intervention because our military veterans are very, very much important. They've got skills, mm -hmm. they've got know-how, and that's why we are leveraging their life experience, the, what they've gone through. Yes. The other issue that we are raising uh, is that um, uh, freight and logistics, if you look at just OR Tambo, it's talking about Aerotropolis, which is an economy around the airport. We have a road there called PWV 15 worth 9 billion rands. That road is going to be quite critical with other uh, uh, arterial roads to support the whole area of the airport. Mm -hmm. And that we believe, and of course, Lanceria, there's the Pyramid uh, mm -hmm. South Intermodal uh, Freight uh, Terminal in the city of Tuani. So the point we're making is, and that's where we're going to be spending our money, mm -hmm. is really to make sure that transport becomes the key driver of the economy better than financial services sector, mm. we know that doesn't create jobs. It is the leading economic uh, variable, best performing economic variable in our province, but it doesn't make a change mm -hmm. in terms of job creation. So transport pays better in terms of wages and salaries. It's sustainable. So our budget is essentially about turning out into, into an inland freight and logistics hub. Mm. And we believe that um, the progress we have made uh, is definitely pointing out in that direction that if we want to sustain the economy of this house, of this province, of the country, because we are the economic hub, transport, freight, roads, infrastructure, expansion of our trade is the next biggest thing that's going to turn around the economy of this province and is sustainable. Unlike gold, which is gone, gone, it has left us with terrible environment, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sinkholes, um, um, so, so that's that's precisely the point you make.